So we've looked at reversing the chain rule, but essentially we want to have a way that is much more rigorous than this. And all of those examples that I've gone through um, where you can reverse the chain rule, you can use a process known as integration by substitution. And I'm going to show you how to do this using this example here, the square root of 6x plus 1. So, we need to start off with creating a substitution. Now, normally, in the exam, you will be given the substitution to use. When looking at this, it's, you want to use a substitution for the bit that is causing the problem. And the bit that's causing the problem is that 6x plus 1. That's the bit that is making this a difficult integral. So I'm going to let u be 6x plus 1. Okay, so that is my substitution. So then, with all of this process, I need to find a substitution for this dx. Okay? I've got a substitution for the 6x plus 1, but now that I am putting u into the integral, I need to be integrating with respect to u rather than x. So I can't have this dx here anymore. So in order to get a du, the first step with all integration by substitution questions is to differentiate your substitution. So you want to find du by dx. And that would be 6. It's at this stage where we are now going to think about du by dx as a fraction, work with it as a fraction. Now this ordinarily isn't a good idea, because du by dx isn't a fraction. But this process works, which is quite nice. Okay? So we set up all these rules and then break them, okay? essentially. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides by the dx. So we're going to get du is equal to 6dx. And then I can divide both sides by the 6. So I'm going to get 1 sixth du is equal to dx. Then that means that I have a replacement for dx and I have a replacement for 6x plus 1. They're the bits that are causing me the issue. And so I'm now ready to substitute these pieces into the integral. So this is equal to the integral of the square root of u and du, uh, dx rather, is one sixth du. So this is currently what my integral looks like. I want to tidy this up, so I'm going to take the one sixth outside of the integral, which is a perfectly valid move, okay, it's just a, a constant term. And then I've got this root u. So I'm going to write that as u to the power of a half. This has reduced this problem to a core 2 integral. So I'm now ready to integrate. So this is 1 sixth of, add 1 to the power, so I now have u to the 3 halves, and divide by the new power, plus a constant c. So we have dividing by 3 halves here, multiplying by a sixth. So 1 sixth times 2 thirds. Okay, so 1 sixth times 2 thirds u to the 3 halves plus c. Okay, so that's 1 sixth times 2 thirds is 2 eighteenths. So that's 1 ninth. So you've got down to the integral of this. But we want to revert it back into our 6x plus 1. So you substitute back in u is 6x plus 1. And so the final answer is 1 ninth 6x plus 1 to the power of 3 halves plus c. Now you should be able to do reversing the chain rule with this in order to get exactly the same answer. Okay? Now, you might be wondering as to why we would have this long, laborious method to do something that we could do with just reversing the chain rule. Well, the problem is that some of these questions are not going to look as easy as this, and some are quite horrible. So, that is really the reason why we want that kind of more rigorous way of doing it, that, more pro that process of doing it, 
that will enable us to solve all of the problems rather than just some.